So you guys probably remember last year when one of my favorite car battery shorted out. So I cut all the plates out of it and made it really light so I can use it as like a prop battery. But I, the most, the main intention for it was so I can put lithium ion cells in there so I could take, I use it for take, for when I go camping and whatnot, and it would still be effective and it would actually hold more power than it did originally. Well, I've kind of decided I need the cells for another project, but whenever I pulled the the battery pack out, I noticed that one of the packs was at 0.9 of a volt, which is very low. So I charged it several times and it, the voltage keeps going down. So evidently one cell inside of here is pulling the voltage down. Let's take that out and inspect it because it, that's weird that it's, it pulls the voltage down but it stops at 0.9 of a volt. Well this pack seems to all have good cells in it so I'm gonna See about charging it while I'm messing with the other ones. These four look okay. That one looks like it might be bad. Still looks okay. Looks all right. Looks good. Looks okay. I think the culprit might be this one. Only one way to find out. Charge it and see if it dips in voltage a lot. Take a few magnets. Bring up the voltage. That's charging pretty fast, so even if it isn't broken, it's probably very low capacity in it. Okay, that's enough charge for now. We'll disconnect it from the power supply and connect it to my six and a half volt or six and a half segment uh, multimeter, and we'll see how much it declines, because it should stop in like a couple seconds, but it looks like it's still going down. It's that I think this cell might be the one that's dead. I come back a half hour later and it's still going down. That's, yeah, that's a pretty bad cell. Might blow it up or something, that'd be kind of cool. So how I signify that cells are bad is I draw a line around the top. So it looks like that. So now what I want to do is I want to know for sure how, how much capacity each cell has. So I'm going to get each cell up to 3.5 volts. And then when they're at 3.5 volts, I'm going to charge it with my IMAX V6 balance charger. I'll only charge one cell at a time, or in, in the case of these, four cells at a time. Then I'll just divide the result by four. But as the IMAX V6 charges it, it, it will count up how much power it puts into the batteries, how many milliamp hours of power it puts in there. So, in the at the end of each charge, I can just write on the side of the battery how much capacity it has. And that'll help for putting them into battery packs that are more evenly balanced. Hmm, it's hard to get the voltage right. I was trying to, it, it was too high, so I tried discharging it, but then that was too low, and I was going up, and, oh, it just occurred to me. The IMAX B6 has the function to charge LifePo batteries, which are 2.7 volts, so maybe I can use that feature to get it up to like 3.6 or whatever. Okay, so I'll just change it so it'll be...
can be charged into 3.6 volts. Okay, so instead of 3.5, I'll just do 3.6. That'd be awesome. The MX B6 actually seems to be pretty pretty exact though, so that, that's pretty good. And that's done. Now let's try the actual charging. I'll go back and change it to charging nicely and it's counting up the milliamp hours of current that is putting into it and that's the number that I'll have to say how much current the cells have I'll just divide it by four since I'm charging four cells at once the results are in it has 8.4 amp hours so that's 2.1 amp hours for each cell and of course I only charge it to 4.05 uh, or right here it says 4.08 but it'll probably go down to 4.05 volts Eight three seven seven. That's the exact amp hours that it has. But of course, each charge has a different amount from it because there's small variables in the voltage. So we'll say two point one amp hours each. I've gone back to using the universal power supply to initially bring these cells up to three point six volts. But then I I still discharge them. Actually, you know, I charge them individually with the IMAX B six to get the capacity that each one has. Well. They're working out really nicely. There's actually a lot more capacity in these than I expected. And, and that'll allow me to, to assemble the cells together so each parallel pack in a future battery will be equal. So I won't have to worry about them getting as out of balance. Well, after that I'm going to be using the, you know, taking part of these and checking the capacity in these cells. But I think I'm going to make another video about a different method for these. Because what I'm thinking is, okay, so here we have a very good cell. Ah, it'll lay down. We have a very good cell and we have a very bad cell. All right, this is about half health. Well, only about 1.1 amp hours left in this cell. Well, if I were to charge these up full, I were to pull one amp from this, and I were to pull one amp from this, this one would dip in voltage a lot more than this one would. So I'm gonna get several different capacity cells. Now I'm assuming these all have pretty much the same um, C rating or the current to voltage rating. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to plot out a graph and then whenever I get a cell, a cell like one of these, I'll just charge them up and then I'll pull one amp from them and see how far down the voltage goes. And then what I can do is I can see where on the chart it is and then I can tell how much capacity it has or at least a rough estimate. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See ya.